All right, so it's the VW Nut Channel and the VW Nut Garage. Both of my red cars are here. Uh, you guys are looking inside the trunk area of Daisy. Um, I was underneath the passenger side, of course, cutting floors out and heater channels and throwing sparks everywhere. And then it dawned on me that uh, there's a five gallons of gasoline in this car. So what we're doing right now is we've got the fuel line out back draining into a five gallon gas can because there's no engine back there. Um, so we're going to let it drain out and then we're going to uh, pull out this fuel tank. So I sprayed some stuff on the bolts to make them come loose and we'll let that sit. I'll bring you guys right back in one second and we'll get to breaking some nuts loose. Bolts. Bolts loose. All right, so we got to go after that there um, fuel fending unit for your gas gauge. Pops right off right there. That cover comes off. We'll put that with the other parts. Nice. And it's a lot like a, like a bicycle brake system up on the hand brake. It's just a ball inside of a cup with a uh, hook to the cable. And that's what moves your uh, fuel sending unit in these old ones. Now it's just four of these, uh, four of these, uh, I believe they're 13 millimeter, most likely. So the snail, his name is Walt. We got to move him. Um, and it's uh, four 13 millimeter. What in the world? Still on the uh, 13 millimeters. So far so good, two of them came loose. So that's what they look like. That's what I'm taking off of there. Uh, two here and two there. We'll get them off and then I'll show you how to lift out the tank. All right, so get my wrench out of the way. Get my wrench out of the way. Now, if the guy before you was super nice, he left you enough hose on the bottom of this tank that taking it off won't be a problem. You gotta watch out for your light wires, and there's a um, vent hose that should just slip right off. Oh, and the guy before me was extra super nice to me. Left plenty of hose. Now that we're into that area of it, we'll, uh, we'll blow her out too, blow out the fuel line. So I'm going to put the tank over here in the tank section once I put the uh, gas cap back on it. It looks in pretty good condition. Alright, bring you guys 
right back and we'll get to uh, trimming up on some floors. Alright, so I'll show you guys in just one second what I'm doing with uh, blowing out the seal line. So, I just took the uh, where it connects to the tank. That should be safe enough for us. Alright, so what we're looking at is the new heater channel on the floor um, underneath where it should go. And you can see that, uh, hopefully I don't fall through this floor, or if I do at least, it'll be on camera. You can still that I see that I still need to trim this up um, just because A, it's rusty. And B, it's not a very good edge. And then I still got some trimming to do uh, right up there. So, we'll get started. Alright, watch your ears. Watch your ears. Watch your ears, it's gonna time for a little sawzall action. Alright, let me see if I can get some light over here. So some of this right here needs to be uh, trimmed up anyway. You can see the rust. So we're going to do our best to try not to screw this up too bad.
we're gonna see what we can do about cleaning this up a little bit right here. So, watch your ears. Alright, so you guys can see there is the preliminary figment. Um, not horrible. It's going to take some patch panels uh, to get her filled in. Um, but I am happy with how nice the piece uh, of heater channel that I got fit in there. Um, you hear all the horror stories about how the tins and things don't fit. And, and a lot of that is true, but for this particular instance, um, these things fit really nice. Um, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, we're going to get started on the floor next. So I think this is 15. Thank you guys uh, for coming along with me on this journey in the VW Nut Garage. And uh, we'll see you soon.